So let's unbox my brand new Gigabyte 980 Ti Extreme. On first impression, you're greeted with a pretty box with nice uh, features listed all over it. There it is, in all its glory. GeForce GTX 980 Ti. Awesome. It's got some heft to it. It's a pretty heavy box. Ooh, nice little holographic logo there. The first thing you see is the beautiful card. So let's get it out of its uh, anti-static prison here real quick. And man, I just got to say it again. That's it's a it's a heavy card. You could really feel the the heat sink. And you got the RGB color changing WinForce logo. You got the three fan design. You got all those copper heat pipes. The center fan uh, spins opposite of the rest of the fans, if you uh, notice there. They say it's to improve cooling. I tend to believe them on that one. You got the extra auxiliary uh, PCI power. You got a nice wristband. You get a little case emblem. And you got the quick start guide and the driver and software DVD. I don't have a DVD drive, but I know how to install it anyway. Let's get to the rest of this. First thing I ran as soon as I got the card was the Firestrike benchmark. With fresh drivers installed and nothing changed for clock speed, I pulled a score of 16,883 overall and 20,456 on the graphics. I compared that to my previous card, the MSI Gaming 390X8G card, which got a score of 11,878 overall and 14,161 on the graphics. With a bit of overclocking, I was able to get an even higher score with the 980 Ti, an overall score of 17,632 overall and 22,270 on the graphics. I'll compare that to my 390X max stable overclock, which got 13,748 overall and 16,313 on the graphics score. Let's take a look at some Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's a game I play a lot, so I wanted to see if the 980 Ti could handle this game with everything pumped up all the way and everything on low quality while still uh, having high frame rates. So I recorded an in-game demo using the built-in uh, thing in the console, and I played through it with low quality and high quality with fraps running, and then I analyzed the data afterwards. On the lowest graphics setting, I got an average of 466 frames per second. And with everything pumped up all the way, I got an average of 409. But this still doesn't paint the whole picture when it comes to this game in particular. To get a better picture of what's going on, we need to look at the max frame rate and the minimum. With everything set to lowest, I got a max of 614 frames per second and a minimum of 370. With everything pumped up, I got a max of 527 and a minimum of 334. The in-game demo I used was recorded during a casual competitive game, so it's a little bit more intense on the resources than a normal 5v5 game. The amount of time that the game spent stuttering was incredibly low, especially when compared to my previous graphics card, the 390X. And because of that, you end up having a higher perceived uh, smoothness ratio, which will give you a thing called a comparable frame rate. And for both of them, 
It's really awesome. So I could pump up everything to the max and have really good fidelity and be able to see things a lot more clearly. So I'd like to finish out this video by basically saying that I'm not going to include any more benchmarks because it doesn't matter what I'm going to benchmark with this card. It's going to be able to handle it like crazy. There's nothing you can't throw at this uh, 980 Ti that it won't be able to run perfectly. And uh, um, there's a whole bunch of 980 Ti's out there. You really can't go wrong with which ones you get. But this one I got is able to overclock like a champion. I'm going to put the overclock on the screen that I got here. And um, it's really cool. And I don't care about how quiet it is. I um, set my own fan curve so things don't get hot anyway. But even at default fans, I barely could get this thing hot. It does not want to get hot. And speaking of hot... Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Comment on this video. Ask me some questions about the card. Ask me if there's anything else that you want to see done to this card. Uh, any, any other tests uh, or anything like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.